Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bryony and I'm one half of the Indecisive Readers. Today I'm in a location change because it's a Christmassy video and I can't find my Christmas hat. So you are here in front of the Christmas tree instead and I'm gonna keep making noises with it. I'm basically doing the Joy of Christmas book tag and I wanted a Christmassy location. I have a vague Christmas top. I will show you that in a sec. I'm stood up for this because look at that. There's a Christmas tree and a Christmas pudding and a present and a candy cane and a reindeer. And I made them. I embroidered them onto my shirt and I've only done these, but there's more room. So like I could add more if I wanted to, but yeah, that's why I haven't been doing any reading because at night I just kind of sit in front of the TV and do that whilst the cat's out on me, so I'm wearing it for my Christmas video, so enjoy. Um, and I wasn't tagged to do this, but I wanted a Christmassy video, so I will link who I originally saw do it and who originally did the video, and if you want to join in, consider this your tag. The first question is anticipation. The Christmas excitement is real. What book released are you most anticipating? Now, I'm not very good at keeping up with upcoming books, mainly because I don't have money to spend on upcoming books. So I kind of just know books that I know I'm going to enjoy, like sequels or by other authors I've already read. Um, so there's the third book in the David Bad trilogy, which is The Empire of Gold by S.A. Chakraborty. The fourth book in the Bone Season series, which is As Yet Unnamed by Samantha Shannon, and Pretending by Holly Bourne, which is her second adult novel. Um, I can't think off the top of my head when any of them come out, but I can only assume I'm looking forward to those. Uh, there's also The Switch coming out, actually, but I've read that already. There are two I want to read in January, um, which are released in January, and they're ones I've got a net galley so I need to read them and there's Dreamland by Nancy Billu, I think and Mixtape by Jane Sanderson. The second question is Christmas carols. What book or author can you not help but sing its praises? One book series I've really been recommending a lot recently is the David Bad trilogy. I don't have the first book, so here is the second book, The Kingdom of Copper. I just keep saying to people, you'll really like The City of Brass and telling them to buy it because for a while it was cheap on Kindle as well. Um, yeah, that's why I don't have the first book because I have lent it to Sam. Another author I really, really like is Holly Bourne. Um, this is Am I Normal Yet, which is the first book of hers I read. I actually wrote it for an essay, which is why it's kind of covered in sticky notes and highlights. Um, so I do actually have a second copy of this, but apparently this is the one I picked up. Um, and I've got the rest of her series, but I just think all of her books are really good. I've always rated them really highly and I want to finish reading this series. Question number three. What book or series has wonderful world building? The book I've decided to answer this question for is The Priory of the Orange Tree. Pretty much always go for this one. I just think it's amazing. There are many, many different lands in this. It's almost like a complete new world with the... They definitely talk about the East and West and the South as well. I can't remember them talking about the North, but they must talk about the North. Um, and so within that, there are loads of different like countries and cultures and realms and religions. And yeah, it's just intense there's a lot of work that's gone into it and also it's that big so obviously it is thought about a lot question number four a christmas carol what is your favorite classic or one you want to read now i'm not very good at classics i don't really like them i very rarely finish them but there are a lot of classics i feel like i should read but i haven't got many of them what's the one that sam got me i think sam got me pride and prejudice I should read that because I started reading that. Okay, that's on my list as well, but it's not down here with me. But the one I brought down is Little Women um, by Louisa May Alcott because the film comes out on Boxing Day and I really want to see that. So I should probably read this at some point. Another classic I want, I kind of want to get a nice copy of The Woman in White because I did read that this year and I actually really liked that. And the fact that I don't normally like classic books makes me feel like I should savour the fact that I did like this one classic. 
Uh, question number five. Christmas sweets. What book would you like to receive for Christmas? I haven't asked for many books for Christmas, um, so I can tell you what books I have asked for. I have asked for the Italian copy of The Priory of the Orange Tree, even though I haven't really spoken Italian in three years. It just looked really nice and my friend's Italian and maybe she thinks it'll persuade me to learn some Italian again. Um, so yeah, she's gonna buy that. This is obviously the English one, but um, I might get that for Christmas, hopefully. Um, another book I have asked for and have because it basically got ordered to my house is The Starless Sea. It's the Illum Crate edition, so it's got that really pretty blue edge. It's just got like embossing, is that called embossing? It's got gold lettering on the back and the front and the spine and it just it's really nice it's kind of like a naked book and yeah I haven't read it I kind of want to start reading it but I haven't had the time anyway so I haven't read it yet because I'm giving it to my nan to give it to me for Christmas and she's also getting me Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha Nyang. Question number six Candles in the Window. What book gives you that warm fuzzy feeling? Um, I took this to mean like what's a heartfelt book or what book brings you joy and one book that brings me joy at least what I found recently is rereading Magic by Angie Sage which is the first book in the Set from a Seat series it's really shiny um which is my childhood favorite series and I haven't read the last one yet so I haven't read these in so long I'm slowly working my way through them and it's just it's been really it's given me a warm and fuzzy feeling recently because it's kind of bringing me back to my childhood and I'm reading it and I can hear the audiobook being read out loud and it I can see all the things that have like related to me as I've grown up like celebrating midwinter I don't celebrate midwinter as such but like whenever it comes around I'm like ah oh, yes midwinter feast day and favorite colors and just stuff like that it kind of relates to me and so getting to reread it was just it was endearing and also you can probably see this is quite a battered book I do have a um it's very yellow as well I do have a nice hardback copy but I have given it to my cousin to read because she was about the same age as I was when I started reading them and she's just finished Harry Potter and so for Christmas we've actually got her the whole box set um, but that does remind me of one I was meant to say for what one would you like for a present and that's the final book in the series because I've got the final book in the series but it doesn't match the rest of the series and that makes me really sad. It's like the new edition of the cover which looks like this and I actually want it to look like this so I would have got it down but it was tucked into a shelf and I don't touch it. The other meaning I took for this question was what's a feel good kind of book and I chose Flat Share by Beth O'Leary but also her new book The Switch which comes out next year Um basically I think if you want to read a rom-com book you should read Beth O'Leary's work like this is just like a proper feel good romantic big gestures like standing at the bottom of the balcony for throwing flowers up to the girl you love and it's just oh, I love it I love it so much it makes me really happy um every now and then when I'm at Sam's he puts the audiobook on and I'm just like these are my favorite <laughs> um when I was doing my um essays what was getting me through the essays was the promise that I would buy this on my final date of essays and read this and yeah it just it makes me really happy and I want to reread it soon um also on that same like thread the switch is like it's not Christmassy, neither of these are Christmassy, but they're kind of that Christmassy rom-com feeling. And the switch is quite like um, The Holiday with Jack Black and Kate Winslet and Cameron Diaz. And who's the other guy in it? Oh, what's he called? I can think of his name. I can think of his face, but not of his name. What's his name? Oh God, what's he called? Jude Law? The guy out of... Sherlock and stuff. Him. Anyway, it's like the holiday, it's a switch and it's cute and I just think Beth O'Leary does good rom-coms. Go her. If you want a rom-com, call on Beth O'Leary. Question number seven. 
Christmas trees and decorations. Uh, what are some of your favourite book covers? Um, so again, I'm just going to use books I've already got down because mainly, I mean, they were the ones I immediately thought of anyway. But um, this, The Style of Sea, because it's not just this, actually. I ordered the Illumicrate box because the book sounded like really pretty that was naked and it had this and yeah, I don't I think it's really pretty and I kind of don't want to touch it because I'm worried I'm going to ruin it and I think it looks nicer than the Waterstones ones with all the marbling and stuff and I just I don't understand this. Um, the other book I have is The Kingdom of Copper. I just remember seeing it and thinking wow this is so pretty. It's less shiny than I thought. It's kind of like subtly shiny if you can see and it's just it's a nice colour. It's really pretty. I think the UK editions of these way went over the american ones um also the um italian copy of priory because obviously i think that's pretty because that's why i'm buying it um i still want to paint on my copy but i was thinking maybe i'll paint on that one because i won't read that one as much it'll be like a looking at kind of copy but i think it's actually got a dragon on the hard back like naked bit. <laughs> so we will see once i've got it see what happens and question number eight, the final question, eight. What are some of your favourite things about Christmas and or some of your favourite memories? So I suppose this is less of a bookish one and more of a Christmassy one. So I didn't actually answer it myself. I thought I could freestyle. What's the word? Improvise. I thought I could improvise an answer. Um, but my Christmases have always been spent at home. We've had people come round. We've had Nan and granddad and my nan's brother they always come round and we have christmas at home and i just really like it we have like a big dinner you get some games and it's just i like being able to have friends and family around um sam and i haven't spent christmas together yet so i'm still looking forward to that and um, we're going to have a christmas dinner on saturday probably the day this is coming out so i'll be enjoying christmas dinner and star wars whilst you are watching this um, so yeah it's just I like all being together um, I really miss doing things like carol services at school I was in the orchestra so I never had to just sit there and be like oh god this is boring but um, I could actually like join in even if it was just for 30 seconds at the start and I was really bad at it I got to join in and that was nice and I like just the feel of Christmas I haven't been able to do presents as much this year which is a shame because I like looking out for presents that I think will really suit people whereas this year I've been a bit more limited on price um, but I quite like making presents as well like I said I've made this so I've like made my friends like a little embroidered shirt thing before or um, I can't think of any off the top of my head but I like doing something a bit more creative and yeah I just enjoy having people around and being like, oh, Santa's coming. I, I always use that NORAD track Santa. I love seeing where Santa is. And yeah, I've been away at uni for the last like three years and this is the first year I'm back. So I've enjoyed decorating the tree. And even though it's not completely decorated yet and I'm horsey, so me and my family go up to Olympia the big horse show and you get to see like at the end of each performance there's a big uh show where Santa comes out in his sleigh and all these dancers come around and, like things like pantomimes are really bad and cheesy but you know there's there's something about them that are just a bit joyous and when you go you feel Christmassy and I just really like Christmas I don't necessarily like winter because I'm always cold but Christmas is cute and yeah I just, it makes me feel warm and fuzzy. I don't need books that make me feel warm and fuzzy. I've just got Christmas. So yeah, I hope you feel warm and fuzzy at Christmas too. Look at my necklace. Look at my necklace. It's not a necklace. Look at my thing. I am so proud of this. I don't think you understand. That is going to be my like thing for next year is learning to sew properly because I can do this, which is very like haphazard, but... Honestly, the fact that it's so, I wouldn't say it was good, but the fact it's all right and I'm not very good at it is something good.
so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to join in with the tag please do please consider yourself tagged if you like any of these books or can think of answers but don't want to do the tag let me know in the comments and um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye